how's it going? So, I thought this year uh, we could spend Christmas with Dirk. So, that's what we're going to do. So, to start off, I will uh, set the scene. Of course, where, the f where did you get that cake from? I don't know. I don't know. But I'll, uh, I'll set the scene, introduce you to uh, the family. A few things have changed since the last time you saw Dirk. So, first off, I'll just show you the house. This is Dirk's house, where he lives. Obviously, I didn't make it myself. This is from the gallery, so I'll put the, uh, the details on this build on the screen somewhere so you can download it yourselves if you like. Quite a few gallery builds in this video, actually. Really feeling particularly lazy this year. But yeah, that's the house, and uh, now I'll introduce you to the family. And Dirk is, Dirk is in a pretty good way, as you can tell. He's drunk. Really? You're really drunk, Dirk? Okay, well, let's take a look at the family. Okay, so here's the family. We've got Dirk, obviously, and now that they live in a fairly big house, they've managed to find some room to add a couple more people. Anyone remember Yumi? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, her and Dirk are a thing now. They live together. And if you look closely, there's a little baby bump there. If you remember the last time we saw Yumi, she was pregnant. Uh, this is not the same pregnancy. This is the result of that pregnancy. This is little Ernie. He's uh, Dirk's little angel. He's actually quite naughty. He's like devil child. I made him wild. I think Dirk is a little bit scared of his son. Cute little hellraiser. Then of course we got Grandma Edna. She's uh, she's moved in as well. It's the only way Dirk could afford the house. Him and Grandma they went half, so they decided to move in together. And then we have uh, Grandma's brand new boyfriend. This is Felix. Uh, he's Grandma's new boyfriend. He's moved in and he's also moved his grandma in as well. <laughs> so we've got two grannies in the house. He's a bit of a stoner, but, you know, Grandma doesn't mind. She's seen all of that before. Dirk doesn't really like Felix. I think he, he thinks that Felix is using his grandma. And also he thinks it's pretty pathetic that Felix still lives with his grandma. Like, grow some bolts, you know? But yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's the family. One big happy family in one big happy house. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, for a second there, I thought someone was humping in there. Why? Why did you get drunk? It's ten a.m. and it's the day before Christmas. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remove his drunk buff. I can't have this. Not not on the day before Christmas. Okay, it's too busy. We got things to do. We literally have Christmas Day tomorrow, so we need to we need to prepare Dirk. So we're gonna go on a little trip. We're gonna go to the new Christmas market that's opened in town because we need to go and buy some presents for everybody. And we'll take Dwayne with us. Uh, we don't live with Dwayne anymore, but you know he's still a good friend. Oh, also fun fact: uh, Dwayne is now going out with Julie. Yeah, that happened. All right, come on then, Dwayne. Let's do some Christmas shopping. Okay, here we are, the new Christmas market. Look at this fucking place. This is uh, another place that I got from the gallery. I'll put the details up somewhere, but um, this looks just like the kind of Christmas markets that I've been to before. It's so cool, so cool. So yeah, we're uh, at the Christmas market. We need to pick up a few presents, so maybe teddy bear for the boy jewellery for the missus, and then some condoms for grandma. But you know, there's no reason to rush. We could always stop and grab a little hot chocolate or something, couldn't we? Oh, or m maybe not, maybe not. Okay, just, just shopping then, just shopping. I mean, maybe Yumi might like a little snow globe. Like this one, the little bunny one with the heart on it. Let's, uh, let's get her, we'll get her a snow globe for Christmas. Where, where did Dwayne go? Dwayne, where'd you go, man? Hey, Dwayne, how's it going? So, uh, what are you going to buy for Julie? You going to get her a gag so she can shut her bitching mouth? Oh, I miss Dwayne. It feels like I haven't seen him for ages. You're looking good, mate. You lost weight. You're looking good. Right, that's enough small talk. We really need to start uh, buying some more presents. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, we've got a little toy stand over here. That looks quite cool. We can buy that teddy for the boy. Maybe we'll get him some bubbles as well. 
Make it an extra special Christmas. Oh, you're just going to walk in? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so that's Yumi done. That's the baby done. Now we need to find something for Grandma. You know, I don't think this fine establishment sells birth control. So maybe we'll just get her like a nice little candle instead. Buy Grandma a nice candle. Second best thing to birth control, I guess. Okay, presents bought. Christmas ready. No need to rush home. Maybe uh, we should grab a little hot dog. Let's grab a hot dog and then... Oh, tofu dog. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Dirk's a vegetarian. Of course he is. And then we'll just sit and have a little bit of a catch-up with Dwayne, you know? It's been a long time. Long time no to speak. Should we sit together? Yeah, let's sit together, have a little catch-up. Oh, okay. See you later then, mate. Must just still be bitter because of our history with Julie. There we go. That's better. Now we can have a proper catch-up. How you been, man? Yeah, we've been okay. Just a bit worried about Grandma. I mean, here we are, struggling to raise a family, and our own grandma would rather get her tits licked than try and muck in. But yeah, I'm glad things are going well for you and Julie. Happy for you, mate. Happy for you. I feel like, you know, there's a little bit of tension between these two. I can't help but feel like it might have something to do with Dwayne's new girlfriend, but you know what, we're not going to let that ruin Christmas. Anyway, it's five o'clock. We've done all the shopping we need to do. I think it's time to go home because we need to prepare for the Christmas Eve pub drink. As is tradition, you have to go to the pub on Christmas Eve. Where the fuck did all the snow go? <laughs> you know what? I think it might be because I had to cheat the weather so that it would go into uh, winter. Oh, God, guys, get a fucking room. And uh, the day I cheated it, it was like the last day of winter, so now it's become the last day of autumn. Oh well, it, hopefully it will be snowing by tomorrow. Hey, hey, what are you doing? People are going to see you. You don't want Felix's grandma to see you. You know what the grandmas in this house are like with younger men? Oh, that was so inappropriate. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's a cartoon. All right, it's six o'clock. It's time to go for the annual Christmas Eve piss up. So everyone can come along, even Felix. And you know what, Dwayne, and we'll be the bigger person, Julie can come too. Fuck it. Gonna go to the Christmas pub. Here we are. Oh, hey, Julie, you really dressed up, didn't you? Yet another build I didn't do myself. You can get it from the gallery if you want. If you do get it, though, the inside will look slightly different to mine. Just because I wanted to incorporate a karaoke machine. So this bit here will look slightly different. I think there were three tables rather than two. Okay. Should we maybe do a little bit of ice skating? Oh, I don't think Yumi can ice skate because she's pregnant. Well, that's all right. She can watch the baby. Get the drinks in, Yumi. Make yourself useful, love. Oh, what a Christmassy sight. Oh, Dwayne's had enough of that. <laughs> this is what Christmas is all about. Falling on your ass and making a complete tit of yourself. Go for it, Dirk. Go for it, Dirk. You got this. You got... <laughs> Did you have a nice trip there, Julie? Oh, no, we've had enough too. Aw, okay. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get the drinks in then, shall we? Order drinks for the group. Just have a nice glass of red, shall we? That's a Christmassy drink. How are you doing that? Just walk straight up to the bar, yeah. <laughs> How Christmassy is this bar, though? Everyone grab a glass, that's right, that's right. Is anyone watching the baby? Where is the baby? Oh, the baby... Oh, this pub is just making me feel all warm and fuzzy, you know, such Christmas vibes. We're even getting on with Julie, you know, really building a bridge, making amends. You all right there, Ernie? Can I get you a beer or anything? Eh? How about a Capri Sun? Oh, he's so cute in his little Christmas tree outfit. Oh, kids can be cute sometimes. Okay, Dirk, I think it's uh, I think it's time we sang a little song on the old karaoke machine. Oh, Julie just tried to blow a kiss at us. Oh my God, what a slag! Oh, I think we're gonna sing a Christmas song. Oh, gorgeous. That voice is like a young Elvis Presley, isn't he? Oh, Dirk. You beautiful soul. Yeah, there's passion in that voice. 
I think he forgot the words because for a bit then he just went. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, wonderful. Yay. Well done. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm pretty sure Dirk's grandma just said to Yumi, do you think I'm a loyal person? And Yumi went, nope. <laughs> well, she ain't lying. Right, where's Dwayne? We're going to go back to the bar. Come on, shots, shots, shots. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Hey, yeah, uh, get behind the bar, do it yourself. Excuse me, Julie. <laughs> You're having a good time, Dirk. <laughs> You're having a good Christmas Eve. I don't think you'd need that, another drink, you know. Oh, what's that, mate? You got a problem? You got a problem, mate? Oh, we've got a few people hanging about upstairs. Ah, He may be poking our grandma, but he's good with the boy. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Come on, gorgeous, give us a kiss. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Aww. How do we land a babe like you, huh? Oh shit, guys, it's 1am. Christmas is gonna... Oh man, we've, we we got to get home. It's gonna be Christmas soon. We have to be home for Christmas. Come on, everyone, hurry up. Ernie has been sent to daycare at 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay, everyone's back. It's Christmas Eve. It's starting to snow. I think everyone everyone needs to go to bed, including you, devil child. Read the baby a story. Uh, read him to sleep. Right, Ernie, it's bedtime. I'll read you your Stephen King. I know it's your favourite. And it turns out the victim was the real abuser all along. There you go. Now night, darling. All right, baby's asleep. You two need to go to sleep. Everyone's starting to get hungover now. <laughs> I mean, I get it. All right, everyone, bedtime. Night night. See you in the morning for Christmas. Oh fuck the fucking baby's up. Go back to sleep, honey. That's it, sleep tight. Think about all the wonderful presents you're gonna get tomorrow. Your Dirk's looking forward to it. You better go to sleep, otherwise Santa isn't gonna come. What the fuck is going on here? What are you doing? Edna, you really are crossing a line. I mean, you're sat next to this poor cow. You're shagging her grandson. Oh my goodness. I'm just really trying to make a nice, wholesome family video and it's always the fucking grannies that ruin it. Oh, hey Felix, I see you're sleeping on the sofa. Trouble in paradise? Oh, watch out, look who's coming down the stairs. Do you think you should maybe get dressed into something a little bit more family appropriate? That's that's better. That's better. Oh look, today is Christmas. Aww. Oh, you're opening your presents already. Okay. What did you get? A laser show. Perfect gift for a toddler. Oh, Yumi's still sleeping. Oh, both of you are still sleeping. Oh, well done. Fuck, there's a fire. Where? Where's the fire? Oh shit. Mariam's on fire. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that was eventful, wasn't it? What a way to, to wake up Christmas morning. All right, Mariam, you can go and take a shower now if you like. Just adds a bit of extra excitement to the day, you know? Should we put our Christmas clothes on? Let's put the uh, the big tree lights on and sing together, shall we? What should we sing? Come on, everyone, let's do a little family activity, as a family. Aww. Meanwhile, another fire is starting inside. <laughs> this is actually really sweet. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it is so Christmas. Okay, all right, well. That's right, guys, warm yourselves up. Just don't get too close to the fire, okay? We've already had one close call already. Just be responsible, okay? Right, well I think let's um let's give some presents out, shall we? Let's give a Christmas gift. So we'll give her the snow globe. Where's that teddy bear? Why didn't the teddy bear go in his inventory? What do you think? You like it? Ah. Well if you like that, I know something else you would like. About a cheeky little mistletoe kiss. Ah. Why is the baby crying? Ernie, chill the fuck out. 
Okay, I'm just gonna buy a teddy, put it in his inventory, and then we'll give it to Ernie as a present. Maybe it will cheer him up because I don't want to speak ill of babies, but Ernie is just being such a miserable fuck today. Perhaps we'll give him like an extra big teddy bear. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> can't put that big teddy bear in our inventory. Fine, fine. Okay, sorry Ernie, but you're just gonna have to make do with the bubbles then in that case. Let's ask him if he's been good or bad this year. We know the answer, but let's see what he says. Ernie Silchester. You need to put a smile on, child. There you go. Take a, Have a present. Feel better? Oh, you ungrateful little shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's, uh, let's invite some of the others round. Get Dwayne round here. He can bring Julie as well if he wants. Of course you guys are sat at the bar, obviously. Is she asking us to cook dinner? Well, we can do that. We will. We'll cook dinner today. It's the least we could do. Oh, hey, Dwayne. How's it going? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, I just noticed we're wearing matching jumpers. Oh, high five, bro. Right, Duck, it's almost 12 o'clock. I feel like you should get in the kitchen, seeing as you're in charge of Christmas dinner this year. Don't fuck it up. Okay, remember, you've got lots of people to feed, okay? So you need to make a pretty big meal, all right? Oh, you two are getting along well. That's good. Just try not to steal our girlfriend again, Dwayne. That'd be nice. Have a day off, mate. Have we got a CD player? Maybe we should put some uh, Christmas music on, do you think? There we go. That's better. Some nice Christmas music for everybody. Okay, it's time to call everyone to their Christmas meal. <laughs> What did you make? Oh, right. Nice grilled cheese Christmas dinner. Of course, of course. And a mug of coffee. All right, everyone, well, grab a plate, dig in. Oh, this is nice, isn't it, everyone? Just being together for Christmas. Even the baby's getting involved. Yeah, you don't need clothes on Christmas Day. Should we make a toast? Not really much point, is there, really? What a perfect Christmas. Oh, that's it, Dirk, you little dance machine. Only makes sense for him to throw some Christmas shapes. <laughs> maybe his, like, father like son, maybe the baby is a dance machine as well. Oh, why won't you put some clothes on? <laughs> Aww. Okay, that is actually so cute. He is literally just like his dad. He's watching his dad to get some inspiration. And then he's opted to do the dance moves himself. Oh, what a ledge. Yeah, we like to have fun. Oh, hey, Julie. How's it going? You still a frigid skank? Yeah, I'm really glad you moved on. Well, at least they can be civil to one another, you know? Oh, watch out. She is proper pregnant. We having another little sing-song, are we? Oh, you sound like an angel. Not you, Julie. You sound like a pig getting fisted. Oh, hello. Who are you? Wait, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> the people you meet on the street, huh? Right, guys, we still have presents, so I think we need to open them. Come on, guys, gather around the presents. Time to open them. I don't know why you're standing near the presents, Julie. The only thing in there for you is a bottle of cyanide. No, I need to stop making digs, you know? It's about being the bigger person. Come on, guys, gather around, gather around. Let's see what Santa gave all of us. Oh, Prego goes first. What did Santa get you, Yumi? Oh, well, she doesn't seem too impressed. What was it? Oh, it was a future cube. That's a pretty good gift. Oh, what did the baby get? Oh, another laser show. Aww. Dirk, you didn't find out what you got for Christmas. Go and open a present. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? One, oh, we got scented candles. The same shitty present we bought our grandma. Right, I think it's time to hit the bar. One thing that goes hand in hand with having to spend time with family is getting shit-faced, so 
Let's make ourselves a nice little drink. Oh yeah, I forgot his favourite drink is sparkling wa water. <laughs> For fuck's sake, no. Have a glass of wine. I don't care if your favourite drink is sparkling, sparkling water. Just have a glass of wine, alright? Drink it. Have a little sip sip. Oh, everyone seems to be having such a good time. You're just having a little sit down, Dirk. Just enjoying the peace and quiet for a moment. Well, it is Christmas, and Christmas isn't really Christmas without a good old family fight. And uh, as we know, Dirk holds a lot of resentment for Felix. So, um, he's had a few drinks. He's feeling a bit brave. I think it's time we really tell Felix what we really think of him. Yeah, that's right. We don't like that you're humping our grandma and you should just fuck off. In fact, you know what? I think let's make this Christmas a little bit more interesting and have an actual family fight for the kid to see. <laughs> Keen to know who's going to win. Oh shit, Felix won, how embarrassing. Oh, Grandma is not happy. Oh, apart from now, now she is. I think she's gonna send the two of them outside, try and get them to get along. All right, let's just talk this out. Oh dear, look at Dirk's face. He's not looking uh, his best, is he? Just so sad, crying. So, what are your hobbies other than porking our frail and vulnerable grandmother, you piece of shit? Don't give me attitude, huh? Oh, you like World of Warcraft? Okay, maybe we could be friends. Okay, well this was obviously a big misunderstanding. And I think we should, we should make up now. There we go, it's Christmas. We can get over the whole situation with you and Grandma. All right, let's go in and tell everyone the good news that we've made up. Also, there is one more thing I want to do today before Christmas Day ends. Yumi, there's something I've been meaning to do for a long time. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And you're the best I've ever had. The best I've ever had. And I think it's time we made things a fish. Yumi, let's get married. Let's just do it. I mean, we already have one kid and another one on the way. Fuck it, what's the harm? Ah, Getting married. Maybe that will be the next episode. If there ever is another episode, who knows? Aww. And it looks like Christmas was pretty successful for everybody involved. And with that wonderful Christmas episode, uh, it's 2am sim time, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.